Hi, welcome to another SEO tutorial from KipFX. This one is on H1 headers. Now, as some of you may know, many search engines will allow terms found in the H1 tag to be a huge boost to your keyword relevance. The H1 tag is designed to tell the page topic. One problem some developers will have with the H1 tag is that it's often a huge font that ruins the website. Now, unless it's properly formatted, this will always be the case, but it's quite easily done using this CSS code, which I'll show you also in this tutorial. Now, um, first off, we've, we're looking at a code here, but to show you the design, this is the design of a, basically a, a networking site. Now, where it says www.networking now, that's already set as a H1 tag. Now, as you can see, it's a very, very big uh, font and a bit too much in your face. It doesn't match in with the rest of the font, uh, the rest of the text sorry, on the page. Now we're just going to add here, we're going to stick in uh, another term, let's say we want to be found by the term networking forum. Now as you can see, this at this size is the same as the body text, which means it will have just the same relevance as the rest of the body text. Now we're going to change this to be a H1 tag. Now if you use Dreamweaver, you can click in paragraph, uh, format and choose heading 1. Now you see it shoots up to that huge size again. Now we can affect this in the code and bring it back down to a more manageable size and easily readable, but yet still give it the same relevance to Google. Now we're just going to go split here so we can see the code and we can see the screen as well. Again, I'm using Dreamweaver here, but I'm going to show you the code. So if you are using a text editor, you'll be able to do the same. Now, in the CSS at the top, under H1, which is, stands for header one, obviously, We've got it set at 24 points, okay? Now if we change that to 12, and then click in this box down here, you see that the tags have become smaller. Now, they're manageable at that size. They're not affecting the rest of the website, they're not getting in your face or anything like that, but Google and other search engines will still see them as the same relevance as a H1. So anyone that's searching for networking forum, well now it will find that a more relevant keyword in my site than it will in any of this normal body text. Now, to do the code, I'll just zoom in here so that you can see exactly how to change it if you're just literally coding itself. There you have H1 align equals speech marks justify speech marks, close code, networking forum, that's the keyword, and then we close the code. Now, the justify does not need to be there. We can take the justify out. I'm just a huge fan of justifying all text. But basically, the important code is H1. Close code, then the keyword, and then close the H1 code. And it's as simple as that. Now, remember that you, you will need to affect the actual CSS code as well. So up here, again, as I said, we've got H1 in the CSS code and we have the font size set to 12. Now, all you have to do is change the font size in your CSS settings under H1, and then you won't have the big imposing font taking up too much, you know, I don't know, uh, space for one, uh, ruining the visuals of the site, which as you can imagine I see is extremely important. But I do hope this H1 uh, tutorial has helped you, and I'll put a snippet of code underneath this in text so that you may be able to copy it and drop it into your website. Hope this helps. Thank you very much.